Software liability is coming and it's likely to change the dimension and the scope of how we secure software and what are the stakes of what is secure software. So let's get started and let's get started now. One of the things that I heard of recently was the EU 2024 Product Liability Directive. Now, the Product Liability Directive has been adopted by the European Union in March 2024. And just like everything else in the European Union, it's quite a bit of regulation around something called product liability, as the directive suggests. Now, product liability so far was largely seen for products that we use, see and touch, things like that, right? Manufactured products. But in this particular, they've also in included software and specifically included software products as a part of the product liability directive. The product liability directive has pretty broad implications on the software security space. It essentially says that you have a strict liability for anyone who builds and sells software. It could be SaaS, it could be commercially available off the shelf software, it could be any form of software that is essentially built and sold. It it could be your AI chatbot, your SaaS product, it could be PaaS, IAS, doesn't really matter what, but software liability is something that you have to take care of, especially now because of this particular directive. This directive has essentially increased the liability period from 10 years to 25 years, which means that you can be held responsible for any software that you build for the next 25 years or so, and depending on how you set it up, this is particularly relevant because software has long-term effects. So you will see that this software of a directive is going to be a big thing. Now, it specifically highlights defects for product liability. So it says that there are defects that can lead to you having to deal with liability for this particular software that you've built, and it includes cyber security vulnerabilities or security vulnerabilities in software. It could be something that you've not patched. It could be a vulnerability in your AI or in your machine learning algorithm, or in general in your software, it could be a vulnerability like authorization bugs that might lead to some kind of loss or whatever it is. It could literally be any of these vulnerabilities that might trigger someone filing a liability issue against your software. And this, I think, is both a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is simply because now people are definitely going to take more cognizance of software security in a way that is very, very important. We've been talking about this for years, the liability is coming, liability is coming. But when you actually see this, liability seems to have come, EU has brought it. And I think you also see where the industry is headed. Even in the US, there was this executive order and after which they had the NIST software security security development framework, which is largely so far been adopted by federal folks. But I see this becoming a thing across the board. I see that a lot of regulation is probably going to come in in different countries around something like this. And remember, in the case of the EU PLD, if you are negligent or if you don't have a software security program, you will have to pay the penalties for this sort of thing. And there is no safe harbor. There's no box to check. You only get sued, right? There's no real recourse to something like this. It doesn't matter if you have a restrictive license agreement. It doesn't matter if you have DevSecOps or if you were not negligent or whatever it is, the burden of proof lies on you to prove that you are not negligent. It applies only to paid software. So thankfully, it does not apply to open source, which means that if it did apply to open source, I think open source vendors would just stop working in the EU or they're just not allowed to work in the EU. And that is something that you have to keep in mind. So anyone selling software in a commercial nature has to deal with the liabilities that emerge from that software if it causes a loss of this kind of stuff. It doesn't matter if you already have a security program it doesn't matter what you're doing it doesn't have some kind of compliance it's just that if somebody files uh, a case against you and if you're found negligent or if you're found that there is liability then obviously you could get penalized for it this currently applies only to natural persons filing a lawsuit against you can sue for harm which is not companies right now if you have a vulnerability that has not been detected or that currently does not exist or something like that, then you can claim some margin of safety there. But really, it is something to worry about, which means that you as a software vendor is now going to have to take security very seriously if you have not already done so. This is something we've been talking about in the application security space. You are also seeing countries like Singapore and so on putting in specific measures for software security or cyber security. Japan has it. Australia has something. You UK has something. They've still not gone to the prescriptive extent that the PLD seems to have gone with software, but definitely there is a move towards that. I think the, the 
waves are indicating that there's a move towards that. And this, I think, is especially important with AI coming in simply because AI has this effect of hallucinations and things like that happening. So if you're not careful when AI comes in and if you're not built it with these guardrails, then you have a pretty big issue, especially because let's say you built an AI into a medical diagnosis product or something like that then there is obviously a huge amount of potential liability that you carry or if you built it into some kind of a commercial product that gives an AI chatbot access to some data that it can respond on that can again have pretty big ramifications. So bottom line, software liability is coming. It means that you need to beef up your software security. Beefing up your software security requires you to address this in a holistic way and follow this as a continuous process. This is something that I've been saying, everyone in the application security space has been saying, but it is time to actually, you know, where the rubber really meets the road, this is very important. So do think about it and do take a look at the PLD and let's discuss what you think of it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.